What is poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video, and today we're taking a look at the newest LEGO pass, which is the Tropical Adventures, or Tropical Treasures, and this pass does end in 23 days, so it is not a long pass, and there is quite a bit. Um, obviously you can get this new Peely skin, which does have a Colombo, it is like Adventurer Peely, but um, change it a little bit to look like a... Uh, an island Peely. Uh, there is no way to look at this in normal Peely form. Uh, you only get it in Lego form. It looks pretty cool and the actual skin looks alright as well. I'm not a huge fan of it, but oh well. Um, and then the rest of it is pretty shit. We have a couple of tropical beds there. Not that exciting. We have a loading screen which I actually quite like. This loading screen is quite badass. We have a Colombo there in Lego form. We have a couple of floating islands, the battle bus, which you can use to teleport across, a buggy, a pig, a couple of pirates as well. And I'll be playing Lego Fortnite and going into this sort of lost isle, seeing what it's about, seeing what it is. So expect that video in the next couple of days. Uh, we also got a little zesty. Oh, it's all zesty. Um, okay. I wouldn't really call this zesty, but sure, we have a couple of chairs, rugs, and it looks pretty meh. A little house. Uh, to be fair, this house looks quite lit. I actually like the design of this house, it looks really nice. Um, I like the tomato sort of features on the back as well. It's, it's a pretty cool house. That is a pile of shit. That looks like shit. I, I would never build that in my world. Again, more shit. Uh, I don't see the point in counters. Um, in Lego Fortnite, there's, there's just nothing to put on them. There is just nothing to put on them. That looks quite cool. I like the wash area. Is that an actual... That's a turd in the toilet. Holy shit. That toilet has a turd. You know what? That's quite funny. I would build that. I would build that just because it has a turd in it. The, the bath looks quite cool as well. It looks quite regal and very expensive. So, you know what? This one's quite cool. Pile of shit. That is shit. More shit. This just looks like shit. Alright, these are quite cool. You know, I, li I like the monuments, the heads, and the little scroll thing. That looks quite nice. That looks quite cool. You can you can make, like, a town hall and stuff with that, and make, like, a village. Uh, the bit in the middle is really cool, and obviously if you build, like, a tomato town, like a pizza shop, you can have that head there as well. This actually looks quite sick. Um, this looks sick. I, I would live in one of these. I would. This would be one of my houses in um, Lego Fortnite. I would build this. Uh, now we're getting into the premium rewards. This is just a grand version of what we just saw. This is like a bigger, better version of what we just saw. You know what? I quite like it. Alright, it's better than the stuff we saw before. Again, quite regal, quite expensive, looks pretty fancy. I do quite like this. This is quite cool. Just a better version of what we saw before. However, I don't feel like this is something you can live in. It looks like more of like a temple type thing. It looks like a more of a display thing than actually being able to live in it. This doesn't look like um, it would fit very nicely in a village uh, or like a little town. It kind of looks like uh, it, you just put this somewhere random. I don't know. I, I don't know where I'd put this in any of my villages. I like the rug. The only thing I like is the rug. The rest of it's quite shit. Is that a TV? Not a jungle chair. It is, it's a TV. You know what? I changed my mind. The TV's quite cool. The TV and the rug are the best things about it. The chairs, I don't like. The, egg, the added bananas, I don't know. I don't vibe with the bananas. Alright, okay, it's one of the houses just on the... I don't like that exit at the back. If it didn't have that exit at the back, it would have been a really nice house. It would have been really cool. But there's no way to block off that exit. There's, like, no door or anything, so I don't like that. I don't like it. That shit. I don't, I don't get the idea of the kitchen stuff. Like the kitchen stuff doesn't, doesn't do anything. It serves no purpose. It, it's just there for decoration. You can't put anything on the counter, so it's just a load of empty space. And I don't like that. I don't like empty space. And plus, it's a corner one. And with most of these houses, they're rounded, so there's no like real corners to put them in because they're they're rounded. So it, I just don't see the the point or the functionality of this one. This one looks quite cool. I think this one's the best looking one yet. Uh, it's obviously the biggest one, but it just looks the best. And you can easily put like one of those like tomato heads on top. The zesty ziggurat. 
it actually looks quite cool. I like this one. This one's the best one. This this is one that I would build. This is like a centerpiece to a town. This is this is nice. That's just a pile of shit. What even is that supposed to be? A toilet? All right, fair. I see the toilet board set. It's a wardrobe. Why why is there a wardrobe next to a toilet? I don't get this. I don't get this bundle at all. It's like a toilet, a rack, a coat rack, a head decoration, a what? It, it just makes no sense. The decor bundle, it just makes no sense. And plus the toilet didn't have shit in it, so it, so it doesn't look that good anyway. I like this one. This one's a, a much more creative house with multiple stories, multiple floors. You're off the ground, so it's still harder for monsters to come and get you. Like the skeletons, the pirates, the new golems that they've added. Again, it just looks real nice and real classy. I like this one. This one, this one, this one's really nice. I would live in this one. This is, this is my new preferred house. That is a pile of shit. I don't like that. The, there's nothing to it. It's just a bunch of empty space. Like I said, I don't like empty space. And this is just a, a big, big empty space with not a lot to put in it because of there being no walls. So there's not a lot you can actually build in here other than just this on its own. So it, it, it's just taking up room. It, it, it's not it's not it. The gate <laughs> with no walls to go with this gate. There is there is no walls. Okay, so you can just build a big old gate. Um, there is no other walls of defense other than building multiple gates, which I don't see the point in. Uh, this doesn't come with any walls. Like, this is just a big old gate. I don't like this. I don't like this. It, th there's no... There's no use for this other than, like, the main entrance. And there's no other sort of walls to protect your village. It's just... It's just a gate. It kind of reminds me of Crude's as well, not gonna lie. It's like Crude's 2, where they go find that family. It's kind of a similar wall feature to that, but... I'm gonna be honest, with one skin and it costing, what, 1,400 1, V-Bucks, it just is not worth it for me. And I personally am not gonna buy this pass. It's quite short compared to, like, the nine weeks, I think, we had the Star Wars one for. This one is a lot shorter, with it only being one month. Um, I don't know, I felt like the, the Star Wars one being, like, 80 to 90 days was pretty long and you had plenty of time to get everything this one feels quite short so you have to be playing lego fortnite quite a lot to be able to finish this one especially with there not being challenges to come with it and it only lasts for like four weeks so hopefully we'll get like a festival or like a lego pass for like october with some spooky stuff in it but i don't really see that so other than that i hope you all enjoyed i'll see you all next one hope you all have an excellent day and goodbye stay home and stay safe